Hello, everybody. Mark Jenkins, operator of R&B Properties, and this is my weekly uh, video on uh, just grabbing a topic of the of the week and talking about it for a few minutes, just do a little bit of education. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the SUV. Um, good news, good news for us. Uh, we received notice of our first eviction. A uh, tenant that we've had to live with for the last few months during COVID-19, uh, his eviction is slated for August 28th. This is great news for us. This is great news for our client. This is great news for other tenants in the building as he's been making their life absolutely miserable. So it is great to hear, great to see that the sheriff is back and uh, starting to do evictions. Um, we also received our notice uh, for our first hearing. This is great. This is fantastic. Um, the LTV is now doing video hearings, and uh, we have one slated for September 1st. It is so good to see that the Landlord Tenant Board is starting to move forward with hearings again, and it's great to see that they are doing this uh, with using technology. I'm sure it's not going to be Zoom, um, but uh, it's great to see that they are starting to move forward with technology and doing their hearings again. So very good news for any of you that are not already aware of that. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about paralegals and, and some of the forms and filings. Um, Got to say early on, I was lucky enough um, to get a good education in uh in the way the ltv worked i had filed my first in four served the tenant and um i waited my customary 14 days and then the next day i basically went to the landlord tenant board and uh, started the process of filing for an l1 uh, the girl at the counter was very nice and she explained to me that the file probably wasn't going to forward and I asked her why and it turned out I had mixed the dates on the form so I, I don't remember how it is done right now if it's day first then month then year or vice versa I think it might be vice versa so month day year I had done the opposite so in this case it was something uh, very clear you know 10th day sorry 10th month 15th day there's no way it could be the other way around because there is no 15th month in the year. I could not understand why this was going to be a problem. So I got a good education that day on the fact that the N4 is an illegal is a legal form. Uh, the N4 is very important and critical that you fill it in accurately and completely. Um, and it was funny because you know I just didn't get it. So she actually did a poll in the office. You know, who here thinks the uh, adjudicator is going to throw this out? And literally everybody put up their hand and said the adjudicator is going to throw it out. So it's like she said, "You can proceed if you want, but you know we don't think you're going to you're going to have any success." So the option was tear it up, start again, issue another in four, wait the 14 days, next day go do the L1. We did that. We got our hearing and everything went uh, tickety-boo from there on. So I was very thankful uh, to that girl at the counter that basically helped me through and helped me to understand how important it is to fill things in correctly, uh, fill things in accurately. So learn from my mistake, everybody. Um, read the forms. Make sure that you are completing them 100% accurate. Um, many, many years later, uh, being there at the tribunal, and this happened to a property manager, I think the rent was like $1,000 in that neighborhood. And if the tenant paid on time, they were basically saying, thank you, tenant, for paying on time. You only have to pay $950. Um, and they've been doing that for, for quite a while. But then the tenant stopped paying rent, started paying late. Um, so the property manager basically uh, did the filings and took it to a hearing. And guess what happened? You know, legally, you are allowed 
to give up to 2% rent discount. Not 2.1%, not 2.2%, not 2.0001%, anything up to and including 2%. So $50 on $1,000 was not 2%, it was something more than that. Well, the landlord was trying to do something nice to the tenant, it turned around and bit him in the you-know-what. Um, basically, what ended up happening was because the tenant had been paying nine fifty for many months, the rent was now determined to be nine fifty, not a thousand. So now the N four, the L one, everything all had the wrong rent in it. So this wasn't just you lost a couple of weeks. This was you lost a couple of months because you served the N four, then you file. You wait for your hearing, you go to the hearing, and then you find out everything is wrong, and you got to start all over again. So that particular situation, that particular tenant, um, basically the, the landlord had to start all over again and lost literally months um, in able to move forward. So do make sure that you understand everything with regards to the Residential Tenancies Act. And if you have any questions whatsoever, RMB Properties provides advisory services for a very low cost, um, you can basically call us at any time and say, can I do this? Can't I do that? We're there, happy to help. Um, last scenario that I wanna talk to you about, and this was actually a paralegal. This happened at the beginning of the year. And they were, she was there, I think it was her friend who ha was the landlord. She was there just trying to help. Um, and obviously she didn't understand the Residential Tenancies Act. She had no experience in it whatsoever. Why she was helping, I don't know, but she was, she was trying to help. Certificate of Service. So she had emailed the N4. Now, Residential Tenancies Act, very clear uh, what level of service is allowed, right? Um, you can drop it off in the mailbox, you can mail it, you can courier it. If you do these different things, there are some consequences in terms of time, but you can do it. Email is not one of them. <laughs> Email is not one of the allowed level of service. So again, guess what happened? Um, tenant hadn't been paying for, for months and months and months before they started this process. Then it was months and months and months getting to the hearing who knows what ended up happening with COVID-19 because this was back in January. But they, they basically the whole thing got thrown out and they had to start all over again. They had to start all over again with a new N4, right? That was delivered proper level of service, certificate of service. Uh, so in this particular case being January, they would have issued the N4 a couple of weeks. They would have filed the L1. You know, mid-March, everything was shut down. So they're probably still waiting for that hearing. Um, so... What does all this add up to? What does all this mean? Be damn careful filling in the forms. Make sure that you understand um, what you can and cannot do. And if you need help, um, consider our advisory services for something like this. Or if you're already under a property management contract, contact your property manager or look at hiring a property manager to help you with these types of things. Uh, I think that's it for today. I uh, hope this was helpful. And uh, please, if you could, uh, you know, if you thought it was helpful, please like. If you thought I'm crazy and uh, just full of hot air, uh, go ahead and press the dislike. And um, if you do like this and you want to see more of it, please do uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Hope you're all having great times. Stay safe. And we will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.